On this episode of Tiki Way Weekly, I do a software review for the program RoboForm Everywhere. My name is Steve Smith. This is Tiki Way Weekly. If ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics for this show, you can email me at ask at tikiwayweekly.com. Go to my website, tikiwayweekly.com, where you can use the contact page to email me directly, interact with others on each of the specific past episodes I've already done, go to the subscribe section to find other ways of subscribing to my show, and click the support us link to find ways of supporting this show. And of course, if you're already on YouTube, left.tv or Vimeo, you can always leave it down below. On this episode of TQA Weekly, I decided to do a software review on the application RoboForm Everywhere. Full disclosure, I'm actually a LastPass user, so I actually think it's a great time for me to actually talk about an application that does exactly what LastPass is supposed to do and claims to do even more. So first of all, LastPass Premium, which would be its equivalent, is $12 currently in their store. If you wanted to buy this one, it is currently $9.95, so you save $2.05. Is it worth it? I'll leave it up to you. And by the way, you can install it on Windows, Windows Mobile, Mac, iOS, and Android. I don't have just positive talk, but for overall, you'll actually find that this program might actually suit your needs. So here's a question. Do you have trouble remembering your password? Well, if anything is true about the internet, most people use the same password everywhere because they have trouble using their memory to remember more than one password. So in that respect, using a password manager might actually be good for you. It will also allow you to remember which websites you've registered to, as well as all the numerous different usernames that you might possibly have as well. So let's start off by saying that this program is designed to fill a, how do we say, time-saving part of our wants and needs. So it helps keep track of all your passwords, usernames, but it also allows us to actually save account information that we generically use on everything. So first, let's start off with the random password generator. The random password generator is actually what's going to keep you from using the same password that you're currently using everywhere by giving you a secure variable password that you can tweak to meet the requirements of a given website. I absolutely love it because you can change how it is, whether it be alphanumeric, containing special characters, having numbers, and of course, all of the special different lengths that you may need at the same time. It allows you to also, with a single click, fill in the information onto the specific website. It also has identities, which is useful, which allows you to fill in the program's forms in advance, and you fill in information such as personal information, business information, passport information, address, credit card, bank account information, car, favorite authentication information, as well as custom sections. People who know me will have just heard something that will make them cringe. Clicking into the login section allows you to see every website you have ever saved to RoboForm everywhere. Clone accounts, protect accounts, unprotect accounts, obviously. Edit account information, that's what unprotecting will allow you to do. Delete sites you no longer use, or just accounts to websites you no longer use. As well as being able to store application passwords, ATM pins, and all that stuff from prying eyes. And of course, for those worried about security, they also claim to use military-grade AES-256 encryption with the option of multi-factor authentication, and unlike some other service, can be used by single service on a number of computers and mobile devices, and contains a convenient start page that you can use to actually click to your most accessed websites of all time. And if you don't want to hear anything bad about the program, stop the video, go to roboform.com com slash everywhere now. Now I'm going to tear them a new one. So first of all, the things I don't like about the program would be specifically the parts like using, let's say, under their favorite, hold on, authentication information, they have favorite username, password, security question, and security answer. Don't use the same password everywhere. That is bad policy and a program designed to remember passwords should need that option. The fact that they allow you to specify a favorite security question and favorite security answer is also dangerous. If anybody ever gave a weak password to their RoboForm account and they got hacked, by the way, that would be on you, by the way, 
the user who put the weak password in and didn't use the multi-factor authentication, that would allow them access to every single one of the websites that was re that was actually registered with. And if you can't change that question on certain websites, you are screwed. Because having a generic security question and security answer saved in a program that people might accidentally see one day is not a very good thing. So don't use favorite password, favorite security question, favorite security answer. Now, I don't know if you actually want to save your credit card information, bank account information, passport information either. That's the kind of information that, yes, is going to be useful for some people, but personally, I wouldn't use it at all. And the most important question for anybody out there, being a LastPass user, will I continue to use this application until it runs out on me? And will I convert over? The will I change over, you will find out in a year. Will I continue to use this program side by side with LastPass to see how I feel about both of them? Yes, because one of the really neat things about this program and LastPass is they don't fight, they just work. So what ends up happening is when I go into a website I normally use LastPass for, it just asks me if it wants to record the information. I say yes and it records. Eventually, before it expires, it should have remembered every single website I technically use. Am I worried about security? No, because I use multi-factor authentication anyway. So what ends up happening is I'm going to be able to transfer all my information over. And if in a year I actually like it, and I will tell you, I will transfer over. But after a year of using it, then we will know how I feel about this program compared to my many years of using LastPass. So if you want to try out this program as well, it's $9.95 for the first year. You go to roboform.com, so R-O-B-O-F-O-R-M.com slash everywhere. It is an amazing program. Just don't use favorite password, favorite security question, favorite security question and uh, answer, excuse me. And I wouldn't store credit card information, bank account information or password information in any program, not just this one. I wouldn't install it, uh, store that information anywhere, especially credit card information combined with the PIN. I can understand the PIN part, but not the actual account information part. If you have any other questions, comments, suggestions for topics or even software reviews, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can drop that off. And of course, if you're already on YouTube, lip.tv, Vimeo, you can always post it down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Like, dislike, leave your comments below, and have a great day.